Hi guys, it's Kia from Petals Bath Boutique and as promised, I have a soap making video for you today. It's been a while. It has been a while since I've done an actual um, soap making video. So, I'm going to do one now. I still don't have the greatest setup, but um, hopefully... You'll be able to see everything pretty clearly. So I'm making the soap today. I don't know the name. I don't have a name for it yet. But I will say that um, ingredient wise, it's the, along the lines of Arcadia, which has been a really good um, seller for me. Um, but um, I know it's a lot of people like it unscented, but I have had several requests for, um, you know, to scent it. And I don't want to scent that because I think it's great for, like, everyone with sensitive skin, for babies. So what I'm doing now is just making sort of a similar version of it, but it's going to have a fragrance. So it does have buttermilk and honey in it. I'm actually using... Um, Bermudian honey. My mom sent this over for me from Bermuda. She knows a beekeeper there. The honey man. I don't know his real name, but everyone there calls him the honey man. But um, yeah, he keeps bees there, so she sent me some of that over. So I'm going to give that a try in this. All right. I don't want to mix it too much. It's already getting kind of hot. So I'm going to do an in the pot swirl. I finally got my um, new mold from the soap hutch. It took a while. It took a good while, but um, it was definitely worth the wait. And you know, I will say that you know he is um, one man doing all this by himself, making these molds, and he does beautiful work. His name is Rich at the soap hutch. He does beautiful work and um, it was worth the wait. It really was. It took a while, but it really was worth the wait. I was still able to get soap done and everything like that. Just I haven't um, done a slab mold soap in a while. So um, it'll be cool to do one of these again. I have um, three colors here. I'm going to have a yellow. I used um, yellow iron oxide and then I'm going to try to get sort of a caramel color. I'm not sure if I added too much orange to it, but I have a yellow here. This is like the caramelish color. Yes, yeah, a little orange, but it'll be okay. And then I'm going to have a white portion. I'm going to add a little bit of white to the base, but it should kind of come out more of a natural color. I think the fragrance oil is going to um, discolor it a bit, so I don't want it to go to. I don't want it to like look the same as my yellow and my orange here. I do want to contrast, so I'm gonna put a little bit of white in there so that it doesn't darken up too much. Okay, now I'm going to add the white to the base here. Still see. All right, so going to add my fragrance if I can remember which one is which. So this goes in the base, and this is going to get divided. And 
into the other three. And I'm going to hand mix here because I don't want it to accelerate. This also has um, colloidal oatmeal in it to give it some nice soothing properties and cocoa butter and shea butter and silk fibers. Okay, this is starting to thicken up a bit. Let's move a little bit faster. Swirl going here, put the white in. Let me do it this way so that you guys can see. color in here. I know the orange and the yellow kind of look the same to me. Not much of a contrast there, but we'll see how it looks in the final soap. So I'm actually in the middle of my spring release right now. I launched on, oh, it was a week ago. It was a week ago, wow. That's definitely by, I've been working like crazy. Let's use this one. And it's gonna go around, and then down the center, and that's it. measurements right here because this is my first time using this mold I kind of want to let the colors swirl themselves in here I think my camera just stopped guys I don't know how much of this you saw or didn't see I'm so sorry I hope it didn't um Hope you didn't lose anything. I, mean, I hope I didn't lose anything. So this is the soap. I don't have a name for it yet. Hopefully I'll have one by the time I'm ready to post this video. It smells so good. It's like a perfect sort of baby scent. It's what you would expect. Sort of a honey and buttermilk soap to smell like. It smells so good. It's mild, smelling yet strong at the same time. Can't wait to see these um, cut and see what they feel like. But um, I have um, two more batches to make today, so I'll be back with at least one of them. Probably the next one. 
or the third one. But I'll be back. Hello, I am back and I am unmolding. Soap I still don't have a name for yet. And it hasn't quite been, no, I think it has been about 24 hours on this one. And it's unmolding. This is a brand new mold. I didn't oil it, like I didn't lubricate it or anything. And um, it's unmolding very easily. Everything is sliding right out. I did not do a water discount. And I don't believe this gelled. I did insulate it though, but it did not gel. The other two, however, did. I did not insulate them, but they went they both went through a full gel. Oh, can't find the hole. taped over the hole. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Let's move this. Okay, and these bars, as you can see, are pretty thick, but they're not going to stay this size. I'm going to um, cut those in half, because right now these are pretty big. So these should uh, come down to about one inch. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these... Um, off of the silicone here and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the cut bars of, I think I'm gonna call this um, buttermilk and honey because that's pretty much what it smells like to me, buttermilk and honey. Um, I didn't make the bars deep enough, not as deep as I had wanted them, to get two one inch bars. So pretty much what I got was 20 one inch bars and then um, all of these bars which are less than an inch so I'll probably sell them on the website some will be samples like I have a ton of samples and then the others I'll probably sell for like a couple of dollars um, you know people can use them for baby soap or and things like that but that's how they turned out isn't very sharp but um yeah and I'll have some I guess I'll put some cut pictures at the end of this video so that's it for now guys thanks for watching I'll see you guys later bye bye